I am ready for love Oh, the joy and the pain I'll give up my freedom I am ready for love Why are you hiding from me? Peanut butter and jelly I don't know why in the hell I'm singing that song This is not uh, that kind of love episode of the show I don't know why it was just on my spirit so I just felt like singing it child what the hell okay so anyway Real Housewives of Potomac y'all I just that damn Giselle she just really is just the most nauseating individual on reality television okay so anyway so y'all know um, leaving off where we left from last week, um, the ladies, you know, they was on a, um basically a tour day, and they were on the activities day. What Monique had set up, Monique had set up for the girls to go to um, uh, where they make essential oils, how they how they make them, go to that little workshop place, and to also go to um how they make perfumes and stuff because France is like the capital of a you know, perfumes and everything. So, um, Karen and Giselle, they just got into a bad argument. Uh, Giselle screaming, oh, um, that's why Ray wants, um, Erica. That's why Ray wants to lick Erica up and down and around and round. And around and round, and around and round, and around and round we go, and around we go, and around we go. Let me know where that come from. Okay, and I'll definitely give you a shout out in next week's Potomac Review. It's, I'll give you a hint. It's from a show, a 90s show. I'll give you that. Y'all let me know. Um, and I'll definitely give you a shout out in next week's review. Because that's kind of rare, you know. I don't, I don't think too many people going to get that. But if you do, you're a real one. You're a real one. And you know some good shows. So anyway. Um... Uh, they're arguing back and forth. Candace, um, and side note, I don't even know why the ladies say certain stuff or spill certain tea around Ashley, knowing that she's just going to run back in and, and tell people's tea. Like, I don't even know why. Like, Ashley has really adopted this whole bone carrier, um, title, you know, that has been made famous by the one and only Sheree Whitfield. Um, in real life, the bone carrier, the bone carrier would be shot up, jumped, stomped, drugged through the mud. But on TV shows, for some reason, being the bone carrier is cute. I don't think it's cute at all. But anyway, um, so, you know, Ashley's just getting her information. Candace drug her out. Candace just like, child, y'all showing out in front of white people. And I totally agree with Candace. It's just like, child, get in the car. Um, you know, Erica Lyles is, uh, working with Giselle, um, on her every, is her business partner. And apparently Ray, apparently according to Giselle, Ray, Karen's husband, was following Erica all around. Um, this party that Giselle had, and you know, is obsessed with Erica and want to talk to her. And Giselle, oh, she wants he wants her and want to lick her all up and down, and all this just all loud and showing out, you know, just acting the fool. Now, um, both the Green Eye Bandits have shown out and, and yelled at professional events. Robin showed out at the Black uh, Cognitive event. Uh, now Giselle showing out in France. I don't know why these people on these shows go overseas and go um, out of the country and stuff just to argue. Like, it's so tired at this point. I know they have to because the contract says so. But 
And still, like, come up with something else. Stop going on these trips and y'all just mess it up. Uh, it's really, it's just, just, it's just nothing but perpetuating stereotypes, especially going to places when the majority of all the natives that live there are white. It's just like, come on, they, they already think so. Uh, just watching, just actually sitting back and watching this show, this episode, um, and I actually heard this from Selena Johnson herself on Sister Circle TV. That she said the people over there and in France are not that not not that friendly. And when you were seeing a lot of those people, they had weird looks on their faces. It was all looking at them like this. Like it, it wasn't. It didn't seem like it was pleasant. The people over there in in France. Y'all, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. But they just seemed like you know, they was very much like what do these uh, Africans come from. You know, it's just like child. Then they loud and showing out at restaurants. Everybody's the whole staff sitting there looking at them like this. It's just y'all need to do better. Oh God. But anyway, so they're arguing. Karen said something really funny. She got back in the car and she was just like, child, um, Giselle shouting, oh, Ray wants Erica. And she was just like, I'm not going to take no relationship advice from um, uh, can't, from Giselle. I hollered. Um, so, anyway, now mind y'all, all the ladies was willing, because all the ladies was out there before they, you know, departed like Brandy and got in the car. Um... All the ladies was out there and Robin was the only one that was missing. So all the ladies was willing to wait on Robin so that, you know, they all can go together. Giselle pushed them away and suggested that they go on and she'll just wait for Robin by herself. Yet, I don't get why she made such a big deal about Monique. Um, getting a separate plane. Getting, getting first class. Um... You know, talking about all the group need to be together. But you made it your mission and you told Monique, Giselle, that if you go on this trip, it's just going to be you and Robin together. So y'all, is that not separating y'all self? I don't understand. Oh, she's so agitating. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to continue with this review, child. Um, so anyway, Giselle pushed them off and she waited on Robin. Don't you know the first thing out of Giselle's mouth is that she told them they didn't want to wait on her? I'm just like, Giselle, you so shady. Just a mess. But everybody else is shady and is supposed to be loyal and stuff to you. And all that. But look how you treat other people. I don't get it. Her mind is wop, child. Um, so she was so Robin, you know, she didn't know. She was back there getting dressed or whatever, putting on her shoulder pads. And um she was just like, What? So they were being nasty, so they really did not want to wait for me? Um, and Giselle was just like, yeah, child. They was just like, oh, forget Robin. And whoop to whoop. So Giselle and Robin, they end up going on their little merry way. Um, they got some kind of dessert um, at, a, at a vendor. You know, none of them speak French. Um, so they didn't know what was going on, really. It looked like they were just eating a... a um, it looked like they were eating a... A um, crepe. It looked like they were eating a crepe or an egg or something flat, child. I didn't know what the hell it was. Uh, but it looked dry and tired and through. Um, so, you know, they were just talking. And uh, Giselle has an issue with Karen because she felt like Karen came for her by her business skills. But she put blood, sweat, and tears into every pew beauty. Good for you, Giselle. But nobody cares because you have such a nasty personality. So, it's just like, I don't know. Do Giselle know that she's she's looking crazy on TV? Does she care? Does she know? I don't know. Is she mean to the producers and stuff? That's why they show her in a bad light? I don't know. It's just so weird to me. I, I think I would have to straighten up fast. If it, cause it, it's just They just keep showing Giselle in the worst lights. Like in the worst possible way. But I don't think she realizes it. She thinks her, her antics and stuff is cute. That's a shame. A sin. And a shame. So they're talking. You know, Robin, you know, you're just sitting there talking. Meanwhile, we got the other girls. Everybody else, child. Um, and Monique decided to take them to um, a distillery where they actually make the essential oils. And how they actually, you know, make them and put them in little bottles and all. It was very um, in detail process. It was nice. You know, all the girls didn't necessarily want to go, but they all was glad they went because they actually had fun. Um, 
so they got back in the car they was driving and riding you know um, the whole time that Robin and Giselle was riding and you know talking on their little separate trip away from the girls you know they was just throwing shade talking about the girls the whole time so how much fun are you really having how much genuine fun are you really having you went out of your way to separate yourself and now that you separated yourself y'all is bored and tired and through because y'all just sitting there talking about other people the whole time that's not fun enjoy yourself child you over there in France so anyway um they all the girls end up meeting up with um Robin and Giselle uh, they're talking and you know they see them uh, walking down the staircase you know hand by hand and you, I can tell they was feeling some kind of way but they tried to play it off it was just like mm-hmm, I, we see each other forever and a day so anyway um, this was when the ladies uh, yeah they, they got Giselle together they was just like um, Robin because she made a comment she was just like oh y'all didn't want to wait on me so they was just like, no, I wanted to wait on you. They was like, no. Monique was like, no, sis. Giselle said, y'all go on ahead and go while she wait, you know, on you. She forced us out the door. And Robin didn't have nothing to say back to Giselle ever. Ooh, it's nauseating. Mm-mm. But I'm convinced that, um, I believe one of my subscribers said it. Shouts out to you, um, I believe it was Angel. Um, who said that none of these, uh, women or friends. It was Angel or somebody else that said um, none of the none of these women's are none of the women are friends. I can't even talk. Said that none of these women are friends. Which I completely agree. Um, if you're watching this video um, let me know that you was the one that said that. And I'll give you a shout out next week's review. But um, yeah. Um, they, they can't be the way that they all run back behind each other's back and talk crap about one another like up to their face and behind their back like uh, there's no loyalty here who do you trust who do you tell your business to who my god on one hand you appreciate people who are I guess you know being honest and being real but their shades is just it's too much like you can't possibly care about a person if you're trying to damn tear them down that much there's no way it's not about being loyal and all that kind of stuff. No, it's just about being a genuine person. And if somebody tells you something in confidence, I would appreciate it. I would appreciate it if you not tell somebody else, sis. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so anyway, they get to the perfume shop. Y'all know Karen's working on her own little perfume. Um, you know, it's just shady the whole time. All of them. They're asking uh, Karen questions. The lady, she has this big uh, little tool that she uses um, to pump the perfume into little bottles. And, um, you know, Giselle, that was her kind of way to get back at Karen, I guess, and downplaying her. She was just like, oh, yeah, Karen, that's all you need. This little machine, child, it's just $3,000. That's all you need just to pump it up in there. And, and you know, that's it. You got your perfume. So um, uh, Karen was getting irritated. So Karen took uh, Charisse over to the back and uh, you know they was talking and having a moment Karen was just like you know Giselle is being petty and she likes to pick on me constantly and she is being um, mean but you know I'm just going to ignore her because I'm a better friend than that Karen you and Giselle are not friends I don't know what kind of relationship that is I would have been cussed Giselle out a long time ago or just completely erased her name out of my phone book out of my call log in my phone child please who need them kind of friends um and and obviously you know Giselle she's not the only guilty one they all are you know in a sense they all do mess so it's just out anyway um so they're talking and um you know, Giselle and all them is, is talking in the background. She was just like, you know what? I'm trying to help you, Karen. You need. I'm trying to be nice. I know what it takes to um, have a business and your own business and stuff. But it do kind of seem like Karen is, is not that focused on the perfume business right now. Um, but with that said, Karen probably got a lot going on. She said that she's dealing with two sick parents, a uh, raise tax thing. Um, you know, it's a whole lot that, that she's going through right now. The whole house situation, we'll know what's going on with that. Um, so yeah. 
So all the ladies end up going to dinner. They all look great. Um, what was the first thing he talked about, Chad? Um, Monique. Monique brought up the whole thing with Karen versus Giselle. Karen, she was just like, look, Giselle, I didn't mean to like come at you in no kind of way. Uh, but I just felt like you was coming at me about the whole thing. And Giselle, that was an honest question. I don't know why, um, you know, you took it in that way. Um, I was just being real with you. Um, then Ashley, she came up and, and she was just like, oh, Karen, you're a lie. You're a liar and all this. And um, she was just like, well, I got some tea on you anyway. That apparently um, Ray said that uh, with or without you, Karen, he's going to go to Florida. Apparently Ray wants to go to Florida and Karen wants to stay here in uh, Potomac. So who knows what's really going on with Ray and, and um, Ray and Karen. But at the same time, who cares? It's their issue. I don't know why Ashley's so invested. And I also don't know why Ashley is the one that gets all the tea. Like, why, why is she the private investigator of the show? Like, nobody has addressed that. Like, I don't get it, you know? A part of me understands because they mess with Ashley. They picked on Ashley a little bit um, when she first came on and stuff, but it wasn't that bad. Um, they, but, but they are really like all of them are really giving it to Karen, especially her quote unquote friends, you know, which is supposed to be Robin and um, Giselle and even uh, Sharice. But her and Sharice are okay for right now. Um, so what else are you talking about, child? Um, they brought up, um, Ashley again. Big head Ashley. She was just like, um, hey y'all, um, also, I'm shocked that you, Monique, that you sitting here giggling and laughing and having moments. Um, but, oh, and Karen's not wearing her ring, which is, which is fishy. Um, but I, I just... It's not my place to ask about it. You know? But whatever. Um, so... They asked... Um, Monique... Uh, Ashley. She asked Monique about... Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you and Sharice is cool. Because Sharice had a lot of nasty things to say about you. Y'all remember when Rob and, and, and Sharice met up. And, you know, the whole thing about... Um, Monique being an opportunity, an opportunist, and using uh, Charisse's um, contacts, you know, as a way to be, you know, of the highest society and the way to be the queen socialite in Potomac. And Charisse agreed with Rob and, and Giselle about that whole thing. Um, brought I forgot all about that because um, Robin and Char because Charisse and Monique had talked about it. And they somewhat made up. Um. So I didn't think it was still a big deal, but whatever. So uh, that's when Giselle, she was just like, yeah, um, she was like, you agreed with us, you know, about that whole thing that she's a um, socialite climber. Um, so Monique was just like, what well, y'all, I got something for you. Then Robin, before she said that, Robin started to jump in and, and make her comments. Um, she was just like, Monique, I want you to agree to the fact that um, you invited Kendall to your event to get back at Giselle. Um, which is true. She did. But who cares? Gis Giselle's nasty. So who's having sympathy for Giselle out here in these streets? Um, and that was a way to uh, dig to get back at um, Giselle. Uh, but Giselle came from came from Monique from the very beginning. Well, but Monique was just like, okay, Cherie, so you gonna group with them helpers and side with them behind the scenes? Okay, I got something for your ears. Monique was just like, well, let me tell you something, else. the one who decided to bring Kendall around from Jump Street is Charisse. I wish I kind of knew that because Charisse and that girl have been friends for like twenty years or so, so it's been a long time. Uh, Monique just, you know carrying it on you know she just participated um so 
they're talking and you know Cherie she was stumbling over her words she was kind of laughing she knew it was true she was just like look I, I gave um, Monique the baton and she ran with it and she won the race okay 100k child and um, <laughs> Giselle face dropped she was sitting right beside Cherise uh, she was just like I just can't believe that cause you know Cherise and, and uh Giselle, they had their issues, you know, um, in the past. And so, apparently, this is just some old drama. And Sharice finally just got Giselle back um, for it. So, that was a mess. I was just like, Lord Jesus. So, little um, little Candace, um, she decided to use that heated opportunity as a way to get everybody's attention. And she was just like, well, since we putting everything out on the table, I want to say something. Um, Monique and Giselle, I didn't really like how y'all was laughing at me when I was trying to relate to y'all and talk to y'all about something. Y'all laughed in my face. Monique started laughing again. And Monique was just like, I just laughed because you may try to make it seem like you were famous or something. Um, and, you know, she, Candace just got bad timing. Um, she don't really, you know, know how to, like, word certain things um with these particular women um but with that said they are bougie and and petty and critique every single little thing you say and use anything to come again at you um with so i don't know so monique did apologize to candace of course giselle didn't apologize because giselle's never wrong um okay so what else happened Um, hmm. So, the next scene was Karen. Um, Karen, Sharice, and Candace. They all sat down and talked. You know, Candace wanted to talk to Karen because she felt like she don't really fit in with the girls. She feel like the girls are attacking her, um, not really taking her seriously, just kind of dusting her off. And she's just over in the background in the corner. You know, and she feels like she don't really get the respect that she deserves. They kind of treat her like the little sister or so um, of the group. Um, the little baby sister. They just push around or whatever. Um, and she was just like, I just don't know what that's about. Um, they was just like, look sis, um, you need to stop ragging on yourself a lot. Meanwhile, we got Robin and Ashley at the pool. Um, and they're talking and, um, you know... Robin was just like, I kind of grew up like Candace Privilege, but I never used my blessings as, um, I never used my, I was always thankful for my blessings. I didn't complain about my blessings. That was a good um, note, Robin. Um, Robin's so much more likable when she's not around Giselle. I swear. Lord, just toxic. But she just love being a uh, Robin and Giselle's Batman. She just love it. So, um, they were talking and she was just like, yeah, you know, that's right. Which I agree with that. Um, Charisse, uh, uh, Candace was just like, look, I don't want to feel like I have to, um, like compete to be in this group and all that kind of stuff. They were just like, well, just don't just be yourself, child. It just happened naturally. Like, don't worry about it. Don't let these helpers get to you. They gave her some really, really good advice to just chill out. Stop talking, you know, that whole princess air about you. Just stop it. Side note, um, I didn't know Candace could sing. Candace got a voice on her. I'm like, come on, Candace. She should have been up there doing that solo instead of Ashley singing to Michael. You right from the beginning. Mm -mm. Nope. Um, okay, so the last scene was Monique and Giselle. And this really irritated my soul. If this whole episode didn't. Um, so Monique and Giselle. You know they're roommates. Um, right across the hall from each other. Because Monique got the big suite. And Giselle got the um, smaller suite. Which is still a nice suite. But you know. So it's early in the morning. Uh, Monique set up this very nice uh, breakfast. For her and Giselle. They're sitting down. Um, well she goes and knocks on the door. Monique's already ready. Uh, Giselle has on a robe. She was just like, oh, I thought you would be ready by now. Giselle was just like, no. Like, what you want? She was like, well, um, I basically 
came here to talk to you about everything. There's been a lot that's on my mind. And I just wanted to, you know, try to make amends and, and talk to you. Giselle was just like, child, I don't know. I like to start my mornings off right. You know, I don't know if I should really be eating with you and stuff. Just being hateful from the very beginning. I was just, I don't know how they sit in it. In, in, oh, Lord. Mm-mm. It's irritating. I don't know why. I'm not even on the show. Not even part of this cast, child. I don't know these people. These people don't know me. And I, and I am so irritated. I don't know. I, I just... I, I don't understand. And just don't like people like Giselle. Um, now, mind you. When I say I don't like a person. I'm not talking about them personally. Because I don't know them personally. I'm just talking about... These few minutes I see them on, on TV. That's what I'm talking about. And after being edit, edited and all that. That's what I'm talking about. Um... But yeah, I'm just like, oh gosh, just negative and, you know, but you, but somebody else be that way. Oh, they're so negative. I don't want to be around them, but it's okay for you to just do and, and be whoever, Giselle. Anyway, they sat down and talked. Um, Monique, uh, she was talking and she was just like, um, you know, I basically just want to talk about the whole Kendall situation and why she's here and why she brought it up here and you know I did assist with the whole thing but I wasn't the one that created it basically trying to push the blame off on uh, Monique and what I did like what Giselle did Giselle made Monique stand up in her mess or tried to anyway and she was just like look you know you played your part you know what you did um, you backpedaled a little bit and you know you did not want you didn't go all the way through with it because it, of how bad it made you look. You need to um, take responsibility for the shit that you do. And I was like, ooh, Giselle, don't you think you need to take responsibility for the stuff that you do too? I don't understand why nobody really calls Giselle out. I guess because she's like the star of the show. But is she? She's not the star in our eyes. I don't know. So I just turned it into a hate video. I don't even do these. But Giselle just works my nerves. And Giselle was just like, um, you participated in the whole thing. And, you know, you did it out of spite. You was trying to get back at me. Um, Monique was just like, well, we got off on the wrong foot from, from the very beginning. Um, and I just came out here to, you know, just try to be cool. Uh, Giselle, no, you just came out here to try to cover your ass. It's just like, no matter how nice, um, Jill, Scott, Jill Scott said it best. If I made you a peach pie, you'll still hate on me. Like, it, it doesn't matter. You know, what I do, what I give to you, you're still not going to like me. So it's a waste of time, Monique, sitting down talking to Giselle. She just don't want to like you. Just let it go. Um, and Giselle, she was just like, you know, when, so when I come for somebody, I'm, I'm going to wait in the shadows. And then I'm going to blow their face off. I was just like, ooh. You sure is a nasty, bitter, uh, uh, preacher's wife. Just hateful. <sighs> that was exhausting. All right, Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki Google Plus. Follow me. At his keys on Instagram and Twitter. At his keys on 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. All the good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Yes, I'm in a thousand subscribers. Hi.